if you want to improve the edging of your lawn to tidy up some areas where the grass doesn't grow properly and create a professional clean edge which is easy to install and low cost that's what we're going to cover in this video part three of the four week lawn renovation challenge where I'm going to talk you step by step through how you can transform the look of your lawn linking all the products I'm using with videos covering each stage of the process. In this video we're going to be talking about cleaning up the edges of the lawn whilst waiting for the delivery of products that we've just ordered. If you haven't seen parts one and two I put a link up click the card and you can check out the other videos. All these videos are going to be in a playlist together so you can follow along. The first step to edging is try to mark out your edges. I'm using just a piece of builder's line and in this particular case we're going to be tidying up an area of grass which sits right up against the driveway. It never grows properly and is always badly damaged during the spell of drought probably because the roots are too shy. This is being marked out a brick's width using the line so I've got a steady line to follow using my edging tool. Using a half moon edger, I've linked some examples in the description below. Follow the line along with your string line to cut out the section you need. It does help to have a sharp blade on the tool and also it can help if you're finding it difficult to push into the ground to saturate the ground maybe the day before just so it's easier to work with. After the section has been cut out, I'd like to then cut the grass into sections going the opposite way, just into more manageable chunks you can lift out with the spade. I've also decided to take this section off which will square off the lawn. This section seems to run away quite a lot from the lawn and when I've dug down in some sample areas you can really see that it's just laid onto the hardcore of the house foundations and there's no chance you're going to get good quality grass grown in this with such a shallow root system. One thing I'm finding everywhere is leather jackets. These things will definitely have been a contributing factor to why the lawn's in such bad condition. I've actually made a video on how to treat leather jackets and um, I'll put a link in the card above if you want to check that out. More leather jackets. I'm pretty sure a lot of new build properties are invested with these things. If anyone's got any methods to control them or you've had experience with them, drop me a comment below and I'll be interested to find out more. Okay so we're just digging up the edge and you can see here. The roots are really shallow, the grass isn't going to grow well in this area. I'm using a 4x1 pressure treated timber. I've laid the boards out so I can get a feel of how the edging might look on the lawn. I would suggest measuring up for your lawn, try to get a feel of whether you need a 4x1 or maybe a 6x1. But either way, you can start to see the shape of the lawn looking a lot more crisp. Take out any rocks and other debris that you might find during the installation process. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to install the posts and fix the boards to it. But just before I do that, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. You can also send me your four week renovation photos on Facebook and Twitter to let me know how you're getting along. Once all the debris has been removed and the edges have been cut, you can then start installing the board. I've got to say, considering it's a new build property, the topsoil actually looks in pretty good nick. 
The problem I've got is it's just buried too close to the house foundations and stuff's not going to grow. No matter how good the soil is, you need to have a good couple of inches of topsoil to get the type of results we're looking for. To install the boards, I like to lay all the boards out so I can see what I'm working with. You also need to pay consideration if you're going to look to join any boards together. And ideally, you want to try and put your joins in places that might look even. In my case, I've split the join roughly down the middle. Mark the lengths out with the set square and cut to length. Using a spirit level, you can find the level of the ground. You can see from here some of the low spots of the lawn that are going to need leveling out. But the good thing about using this type of edging is I can all also use it as a screed when I'm laying the topsoil down so I get a real nice and flat finish. In terms of the posts, I'm going to be using 4x2 and I'm going to cut the depth of the posts between two and three times the length of the board. Putting a slight angle on the bottom of the peg makes it a little bit easier to knock in and it also forces the peg to sort of leverage up against the board and onto the surface. The easiest way I found to produce the holes is to use a bulb auger. The one I'm using I've linked in the description below and it is the easiest method to produce holes that you can just drill down with the auger and then knock the post in with a sacrificial piece of wood. So I'm measuring out the spacing between each of my pegs. I'm drilling down with the auger using a sacrificial piece of wood on the top so I don't get uh, some hammer rash with it. And then I'm fixing the board to those posts using some screws through the back. Before doing all the final fixing, I'm just going to check everything's level before I put the final screws in. And we should have something that's pretty solid. After the posts are in, I like to go back round and compact the area with a piece of wood. I'm not doing a great example there because it's quite hard to do with one hand, but basically we're looking to compact the dirt back down just so nothing moves after we've installed it. After all the posts are in and the board's been secured, the last step is to finish off the edging with some sort of gravel just to tidy up all the finish and help suppress the weeds. In some parts I did use a weed suppressant fabric which I've linked in the description below. This will give you another protection about weeds coming through. Here's the final result. The overall board of the lawn looks much crisper and using this leveling mechanism with these boards also is going to help me get a nice level finish for when I'm putting the top saw down to the lawn. All the materials used are going to be linked in the description below if you want to cost out some prices for a project like this. It's really easy to maintain after installation because you can just mow right up to the border and I'm really impressed. If you'd like to see more content like this and general lawn tips, check out the four week renovation playlist or some of my other lawn care content is linked above.